building, you know what I'm talking about, man, what's going down? What's the damn deal? Man, Thanks for having me. Nah, man, hey, man, I appreciate you coming, blessing the motherfucking platform, you know what I'm talking about? Like, for the ones that don't know you out there, because they finna get to know you the motherfucking night, so please tell them who you are and where you're from. Young Heezy, Port Arthur, Texas, Fall 9, Land of the Trail, R.I.P. Pimp C, Free Young Pimp, you know what I'm talking about? 90 miles from Houston. Free the Young Pimp. You know, yeah, yeah, free the young boy, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, RIP to the big pimp, you know what I'm saying? So, what is like, let's talk about Port Arthur. So, let's go on down through there. Port Arthur, PA. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like a PA, nigga. No, okay. What's the man? How it was like going up in PA, man? Fun. It was fun. Uh, it was cool. Uh, very interesting. We always had something to do on the weekends. So, right. Uh, one thing about PA, you gonna fight or stay in the house for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. PA, you know, that's, that's the them, them country boys. Yeah. People say we country, but we don't look at it like we country. Though. Man, we Texas, man. It, nigga, <laughs> man, fuck that, nigga. Let's get it understood. Yeah, nigga, we country, but we don't ride horses all the time, nigga. Nah, that's you know, that best. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga, but you see a nigga riding the horses, like I say, nigga gonna have on some G nights or something. Yeah. Nigga gonna be a hustler, yeah. and nigga, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> say, say, that's just what it is. I hear. You know what it is? Yeah, go and tell you know what I'm saying? The gangster nights, you know what I'm saying? Nigga gonna pull out and slide a nigga off that horse, riding down the medium. You know what I'm saying? Like with the traffic and shit. Yeah, that's what we do in Texas. <laughs> but what it like, okay, so you come under some legends. I mean, like, you come from the home where, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking 25 lighters on my dresser. Yes, lady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you, Bird, all of them. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk DJ about DJ Bird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put it in the ear hole. That's my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. That's hunk right there, man. Shout out DJ Bird, man. So, man, what is like coming up, you know what I'm saying, in PA under all that, you know what I'm saying, and now, and now you dealing with music now? It's kind of funny because as when I was a kid, I didn't realize like who these dudes were. Mm. I was just around them. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. It was It didn't strike my. It didn't strike until I was like 15, 16. Like, oh, these niggas really was like yeah. global. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. These niggas Household. was them. These niggas really are the reason people know us down here. Like, so growing up, uh, we listened to them. You know, we was fans of them. Uh, but like I say, when we was young, we, well, my, my age group, I'm going to speak for myself, I didn't really know. Okay, okay. I didn't really know. I thought the Houston rappers was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Big Mo's and right, right. Zero, Zero and Trey. And, yeah. Well, as I got older, I realized, like, who Pimp C really was. Like, I met him and was around him, but didn't even, I didn't even know. What? What? Man, I knew he was somebody, but yeah. I'm nah, just keeping it real. I know, like, I know yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't know. Like, yeah. I was trying to play football and. Make sure a nigga wasn't trying to sneak me in the parties and you right. know what I'm saying, trying to set something up for the weekend. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.